I'm your senior reporter Bobby Portavent reporting here in the West Waco neighborhood here at Baylor Scott and White with the story about a team of doctors and cardiologists who worked fast on their feet to save one Texan's leg. How are you doing? How are you? Bailey Carmack is reuniting with the Baylor Scott and White team, including the cardiologist that helped save his life and leg. It's good to see all y'all. How y'all been? Been pretty good, man. Any, any other situations like mine? <laughs> You're a pretty unique guy. <laughs> While it's a happy reunion Tuesday, this team and Bailey met under tragic circumstances. Circumstances that were out of his control, landing the 20-year-old Texan under a semi-truck last fall while on his way to Waco for work. I went through it. I live in the consequences of it. I'd like to be able to at least remember why I'm like this. Bailey is about 85% recovered, but it's a miracle he's alive. They said if he does come out of coma, he's probably going to be in a vegetable state. As they said, I didn't have any brain activity. Bailey had more than a dozen injuries from his head to his toes. One of those injuries brought a cardiologist in to help circulate blood to his leg by using a stent. Yeah, pretty unusual. It's a case Baylor Scott and White cardiologist Dr. Goswami is looking to publish. They were they felt he was so unstable they didn't want to transfer him or get him to, into the operating room again and so we were able to fix it without surgery. Bailey is glad they and the rest of the team were there to help. They're amazing. Along with his now fiance Mary who he proposed to since the accident. You know she showed herself as a wife. And I just believe that she deserved it after, after everything that I put her through with this accident and all the trauma. Now, Bailey tells me he doesn't plan to get back on a motorcycle, and it's a promise that he made his family, friends, and even his fiance Mary, which they plan to get married next April. In Waco, I'm your senior reporter, Bobby Portavent.